and it's uh, it has some authentic uh, uh, items, but a lot of it is sort of like improvised. Because, for example, although they look very charming, these chandeliers were way too fancy for the Hansa. So they wouldn't have had such beautiful chandeliers. <laughs> but everything that sort of looked old or looked like it was from that era, it was brought here. So they took everything with them and then all the fire, so we don't actually have any original items that a real Hanseatic merchant, merchant might have used here. But we do know quite a few, uh, uh, quite a lot about their lifestyle generally. So this is what this room tries to sort of capture. So the assembly rooms had the role of gathering the whole uh, society, and they would make here a fire in this uh, large chimney. And the judge with the finger. And even if you saw your name, you still couldn't be so for not doing their chores, for being disrespectful to a superior, he would steal that stick while he was most likely drunk. So that's when you would even dare do that, because otherwise you wouldn't dare get caught. Because if you get caught doing it, then all hell breaks loose. But if you manage to steal it and the manager notices only in the morning, then it would be a bit of a laughter, oh, who stole my stick? And then you bring it back, no, there are no repercussions, then you actually get some money for it. So that was, um, you know, and then eternal glory from all the other apprentices who were styled as a sort of a hero. So this was kind of like the everyday life. Uh, they would work every, uh, they would work a lot, loading and unloading, writing in the books, the manager. Um, it was a lot of labor, a lot of cooking and cleaning. Actually, they were very, very clean, very hygienic. So the. At their peak, the wooden houses were filled with German merchants, around 2,000 men, living in this sort of enclosed neighborhood. They didn't have any diseases, or not any sort of epidemics. Because they were very clean, always swiping the floors, washing, washing their hands. So, and that's why one of the things they would severely punish was sloppiness. So if a, an apprentice was not cleaning well enough, he wasn't doing his job, he would get a, a set of uh, punishments. So that was, in a way, a good thing because, no, not the punishment, not, not that, but this, uh, um, this strict regulations regarding hygiene, although they, they just intuitively felt that that's the best, best, the best way to live. So look at uh, in the corner, you can see these brass uh, uh, containers where they would actually wash their hands before entering here. So you wouldn't just come here from work. Potatoes would have come to the 17th, 18th century, but uh, uh, they had the apprentices do all the kitchen job. Um, they would make a fire, they would make the food, they would serve it, they would prepare it on these small tables. Each tenement had its own sort of uh, appointed cauldrons and tables where they would prepare the food. Once the fire was out, they needed to make sure it's not burning, the embers are not are cold. Um, you could even put this on top so it would take the oxygen faster, but then you had to swipe the floor, take it out, uh, clean the dishes. When the manager or the uh, uh, journeyman who was in charge of a group of apprentices would come in the inspection, everything had to be in perfect condition. Otherwise, you knew you would get...